Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic, the trading consideration. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in project management or you want to learn about it or you are planning to give exam of PMP in near future. So let's start friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friend, first of all, we have to understand that what is the concept of tailoring in project management. Friend, a project management standard may be customized into a systematic methodology by a professional body or an organization. This methodology may provide guidelines to further tailor specific projects based on their unique nature like size, complexity, risk, etc. For example, processes, rules and terminologies and methods may be tailored as per the required and need basis. So now we have to discuss that what are the considerations when we are trailing. First is the project life cycle. So what is an appropriate project life cycle we should use here? What phases should comprise the project life cycle etc. Then the development life cycle. That means what development life cycle and approaches are appropriate for the product, service or result. Is a predictive or adaptive approach appropriate? If adaptive, should the product be developed incrementally or iter uh, iteratively is a hybrid approach best for this project etc then uh, the management approach which will can be tailored like what management processes are most effective based on the organizational culture and the complexity of the project then knowledge management means that does the organization have formal or informal knowledge and requirement management system what guidelines should the pro uh, project manager establish for requirements to be uh, reused in the future then what is the impact of changes uh, governance means what control boards committees and other stakeholders are part of the project what are the project status reporting requirements then lesson learned what information should be collected throughout and the at the end of the project how will historical information and lesson learned uh, by made available to future projects benefits when and how should benefits be reported at the end of the project or at the end of each iteration or phase so these are the uh, basic considerations when we are when we talk about so thank you friend thanks a lot for watching the video i hope you like this video if you like it please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video